to craft one modular frame, you require three reinforced steel plates and six iron rods. Rotors require three iron rods and 22 screws to craft one, and both of these items can be crafted manually using a craft bench. The chainsaw is used for gathering wood from trees for biomass and is created in the equipment workbench. To use the chainsaw, place it in your hand slot and provide a good biofuel to power it. You need 10 reinforced iron plates, 25 iron rods, 160 screws and 15 cables to craft one. The lookout tower gives a platform to view your factory from a height. It helps when your base is getting too big and you can't see clearly. 5 iron plates and 5 iron rods to build. The assembler is used to craft two parts into one part. So it requires input from two conveyor belts. It requires three modular frames four rotors and ten cables to build. The automation of screws requires a minimum of two constructors. One that converts iron ingots into iron rods and another to transform the iron rods into screws. The automation of reinforced iron plates requires a minimum of three constructors, one for iron plates, one for iron rods, that feed into a third for screws. The screws and iron plates feed into an assembler and the resources are combined using the reinforced iron plate recipe. Modular frame automation requires two inputs into an assembler to combine the two inputs into one output, in this case a modular frame. Firstly, in no particular order, iron rods and then reinforced steel plates. You will also need to set the recipe in the assembler to modular frames and always ensure that your machines have power. Rotors automation requires an assembler with two inputs. The first being iron rods and the second being screws. I'm using the iron rod production I built in my previous tutorial video. Send iron rods through a splitter, with one end sending rods to the assembler and the other sending iron rods to a constructor that makes screws. That then feeds those screws into the assembler with the rotor recipe selected. All this then meets the requirements for rotors automation. The rotors are then stored in a storage container. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.